Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, wish you everyone a happy Raksha Bandhan. I hope everyone is having a good day. Right. So let's get started in today's video. So today's video is all about dynamic drop down charts. I will show you how to create dynamic drop down charts. An example. And also I will show you how to create data validation list and how to select sort cells and also how you can create dynamic drop downs uh, after creating data validation list and how to create column chart and also how you how we are going to use index match formula to create dynamic values with one click right so today we, i will be covering all these topics so first i will show you how what exactly dynamic uh, uh, drop down charts are right so if you observe here this is one basic example which i have taken of courses offered and the sales data of each of these courses and so what happens here is if i this is the data validation drop down and if i change any values here uh, you can observe the data you can observe the data in the chart and also the data in the subset here so see how the values get changed now i am changing the drop down to advanced excel now you can see the chart has changed and the values in the subset data have also changed right so with just one click you can actually change the values in both the in both chart and subset right so that is the main uh, topic which we are going to discuss now and this is called dynamic drop down charts right so so let's uh, create this in real time now right so here i have one more example of product sales data so i have five products shirts for this electronic shoes and furniture and these are the sales data for these products over the past 12 months for this data i will be creating a drop down uh, uh, drop, uh, data validation drop down like this and also a column uh, chart right so let's get started so before uh, so the first step will be first we need to create a uh, data validation drop down so to create that first let us make let us drag this cell and let us uh, uh, use a dark background color and also after that let us go to uh, data tab and from the data tab uh, go to the data tools here and select the data validation and in the data validation pop-up you need to select the list because here we are creating a list of data validation for this product products uh, right so for that we need to select the list uh, option here and to select the list option you need to uh, select the source values so the source values here will be the products here so once you click on the source data go to this uh, go to this uh, data and drag it till this furniture from shirts to furniture you need to select the entire values after that click on ok now you can see we we got a down arrow here if you click on that you will see all the uh, data validation list list of all the products right so in this way you need to create all the uh, data validation list right so first step is completed now we created the data validation list so here we completed the data validation created the data validation list now the second step is we need to select the source cell so what what is that source cell? so so we should uh, whenever we are creating any dynamic uh, drop down charts make sure you don't touch the main data set here instead let us create one more subset of this main data set to create a subset of this main data set uh, first thing let us uh, uh, create the same uh, row here product sales and the months data 
equal to this cell and click enter and let me drag this value till here and also uh, for the products I am taking uh, equal to either you can select from here or you can also select from here right uh, that's up to you and now we linked this cell with this our data validation list here right so what we did we linked this cell with our data validation list now if i change this any values here then you can see the values in this cells are also getting changed right so that is called linking of cells uh, link, uh, we actually linked the cell with this source of this data validation list right so that is called linking of cell uh, with the selected source cells right? so that is a second step now now the third step will be <coughs> so we created the dynamic uh, drop down already so and the sorry this will be our last step so this will be our fourth step here so the next step will be to uh, write the index match formula here <coughs> so to uh, to write the index match formula so first of all why are we writing index match formula because in index match formula index will help you to select the entire array array of data here and in match formula it will help you to select the rows and columns data so that is the reason we are choosing index match formula to get our uh, values here right so 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 let's write index uh, match formula here so first index match let's equal to index open the bracket and the, here the array will be the entire data here right so entire range of data right now hit comma now you can see we need to enter row number and column number right so in, to enter this row number and column number we will be using the match formula right match match okay then what is the lookup value what we want here so what will be the row number let me bring it let me remove this so here the row number will be our uh, products right so uh, uh, based on this products only we will be getting all our sales values right so that is why row number will be our products data and column column numbers will be our months here right so january february months are in separate columns right so column number will be our months data and row number will be our products data right so now let us uh, write that match lookup value here will be this cell right because this is our this is what uh, our product is and this is in the row number one two three four it is in the row number four right so the row number rows number will be four and i have selected this uh, cell here and lookup value will be this one and lookup array will be <coughs> the first uh, row right so we need to select all these uh, cells because these are our rows from where we will be getting our uh, values right <coughs> and match type will be exact match and close the bracket hit comma and column number once again we need to write the match uh, formula and here in the column number the lookup uh, value will be the months right so as i said earlier column numbers will be the months data so you need to select the months data this c11 right and lookup array will be uh, the first uh, row here right so from uh, b3 to n3 right so this is where we will be getting our months data right so that will be our uh, lookup array and the match type will be exact match close the bracket and once again close the bracket and hit enter now you can see we got our value here what is that value furniture 29955 29,955 right so if I change let me test this value if it is working or not so if I change the drop down to shoes here then yes this value is getting changed so what is the what is the sales value of the shoes in January month 
58,261, right? So this formula is working, right? Now to get sales for this remaining uh, other uh, sales, to get uh, sales value for this remaining other cells, you can you can actually drag this cell, but instead of writing uh, the formula uh, each and uh, again and again, you can simply drag this cell, so you can you will get the uh, sales values same right. So, but before dragging that this cell to uh, the rest of the other cells, what we need to do is we need to make sure our values are constant here. Uh, so because they don't if I drag this cell, uh, what Excel will do is it will uh, leave this cell, this cell, and it will create one more blank cell here, and it will take the values from this blank cell, right? So, but we don't want that. So, what we need to do is we need to uh, make the values constant. Uh, whichever values are not changing, we need to make them as constant, right? To make them constant, uh, so basically constant meaning we need to uh, log this cells here log this values here right because uh, we don't want these values to be changed whenever we drag this uh, formula cell till here right so to do to log the cells uh, we will be using the dollar sign before every uh, value here right so we need to use the dollar sign before every value Right. Why did I log this uh, uh, array here? Because we don't want this array to be changed again and again whenever I drag this cell here, right? So that is why I locked this array here. Now, when it comes to the lookup uh, value, here also I don't want to uh, shift my values here. It should be constant, right? The products, whatever I uh, uh, select here it should be constant throughout uh, whenever i drag the first cell it should be the same right it should not get changed that is the reason why i am applying constant here again the same for the lookup array as well so here also you need to apply the constant uh, symbol here which is nothing but i am locking the values here right now uh, now c11 which is the months data but when it comes to the month's data, uh, this uh, value should actually get changed, right? Because we have different months here. If I keep this uh, constant, then uh, the values will be, the values will, will not get changed, right? Uh, so the month's data should get changed frequently, right? So based on the cells we have, we need to change the month's data. So that is why we will not be a locking this cell right we will be keeping it same now uh, the lookup array again this cell will be logged here it will be constant right so this is very important whenever you are dragging any cells here right so now let me drag this cell till here and now we got all the values for shoes here right so the only uh, thing we did not lock is the this one this c3 cell right because this values will be changing right so now let us uh, test this again so let me select watches and now you can see we the values all got changed dynamically and now let us match this values with our main data set so here you can see all the values are getting matched, right? 46, 751, 74, 75, and 6, 78,104, right? All the values are getting dynamically changed, right? Now we successfully completed our fourth step as well. We applied index match formula as well, right? With now we are able to change the values with just one click, right? So all the if you observe, all the values are getting changed here so right all the values are getting changed now what is our next step here so the next step is to create a column chart right so let me right so to create a column chart the simple thing just uh, select the cells go to insert select the column chart and apply right now we uh, created the column chart here 
right <clears throat> now if i up, uh, select any drop down and you can see the chart changing here so if i select this uh, drop down and if i change it to shirts now you can see the chart values have dynamically changed and also my subset values have dynamically changed right so and you can see even the chart name has also been changed because we linked this source cell with this data validation list right whenever uh, in the starting we linked this uh, uh, cell data with this source cell right so that is the reason the chart name is also getting replaced changed right so you can see the charts graphs columns are also changing and the subset values are also changing here right so that is how you can so here you can also uh, include any text click to paint products something like this to make it more professional so, <clears throat> So let me tag it till here. Right. So you can now you can see all the values are getting changed here, right? So that is how you can create drop down dynamic dynamic drop down charts in Excel, right? So I hope you understood this uh, process of creating uh, dynamic uh, drop down charts. So it is very easy. Uh, if you clearly understand uh, the step-by-step -step procedure which I told you now first you need to create a data validation uh, by going to the data uh, tab going to the data validation select the source cells here so what we did was we created a, a list of uh, uh, data the list of uh, uh, data validation using our source data source data will be nothing but your products here right after creating the data validation you need to uh, specify your subset you need to create a uh, new subset instead of using the main uh, data set we need to create our subset here right and after creating the subset uh, we need to apply index match formula because index index uh, formula index will help you to select the entire array or uh, entire uh, array of your data range it will help you to select the array of the entire data range and the match formula will help you to select the row values row numbers and uh, uh, and also the column numbers right so that is the reason we use index match formula in this case and after creating a subset and after testing uh, the values using this drop downs uh, uh, if you uh, if you get the right values uh, then you need to create a column chart here right after creating column chart again you can change the values and check it if the values are actually working or not right so so this is all about uh, creating dynamic uh, drop down charts it is very easy within five steps you can create dynamic drop down charts so i hope you understood the uh, uh, process here if you uh, if you like the if you find the information to be useful and helpful uh, then please consider subscribing to my channel and also please like and share my video so and also it will help me to create many more uh, videos on excel thank you